Hello YouTubers, John Raish here, August 16th, um, roughly about seven weeks after my last video. I believe my last video was on June 23rd, so we're talking almost two months. Uh, been busy this summer, busy watching this mini meadow grow, I guess. Um, lots, of, lots of commentary from neighbors and folks that come by, uh, continued through the summer. Uh, you know, we're clearly at the peak of the growing season right now, and things are just, you know, exploding as far as growth, including all the, all the undergrowth and weeds and things like that. Uh, this here that I'm showing you is actually wildflower seeds that we put down. Looks beautiful. Maybe someday it'll look like that all the way across. But just kind of recapping, uh, right, I started this at the beginning of May, basically framed out a section here on my lawn, roughly... 10 by 30 and just stop mowing it put up those little stakes and uh very kind of interesting light grassy growth over the first let's say month or two uh and then a lot of that died out and uh kind of the under the undergrowth started growing i'm sure mainly weeds uh, and other things i can definitely see uh see a lot of a lot of weeds in here. I haven't really done much maintenance. I have put in, you can see the coneflower, um, coneflower in there, as well as the black-eyed Susans, there's spots there. There's also some other natives uh, that I bought at some, some uh, local nurseries. You can see this little guy here. I think it's like kind of like a, I think it's like a, a Coreopsis. There might've been one or two other plugs uh, in and around there that probably got overwhelmed. Uh, generally speaking, you know, it's still what I expected it to be. Uh, I haven't done uh, anything, like I said, other than putting in the plugs and maintaining the grass, you know, here at the curb. It doesn't look great. It looks okay. It's probably been a couple days since I cut the grass, but this time of year, especially with all the rain, the grass is just exploding. You need to cut it, you know, almost once a week. Um, you know, from what I, from what I read, they say that me meadows like this, and I know I, I read this at high school park, but meadows need to be cut, uh, at least once, if not twice a year. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how exactly I do that. Uh, <laughs> obviously this is pretty thick growth now, especially with that undergrowth coming up. Uh, not exactly sure if my mower is going to be able to handle that. Uh, I'm going to give it a try, hopefully in a couple days, but uh, you know, it definitely needs needs to be cut. I think one of the challenges here is is cutting, mowing around uh, some of the flowers that I put in. shouldn't shouldn't be a problem. Um, should be pretty straightforward, but just yet another detail uh, that I have to do. I probably when I do cut it. I'm not going to cut it to the length of the normal grass. I'll, I'll have my mower up at the highest setting pretty much, probably have to inch along. Uh, at the same time, you can see the grass over there at my neighbor's house. Uh, they, they have a landscape service come out. I was considering asking them the other day when they were here to give it a quick run on their machine. Uh, ultimately, that's kind of what I'm thinking is the optimal scenario here is you call a landscape company to run their uh, walk behind, you know, over top of this uh, at the highest setting possible. That's pretty much all I would do at the moment. Again, avoiding some of the uh, flowers that I put in. And then I let it go again. Um, probably should also take a walk through and pull out anything that I see that is invasive. There's some porcelain berry that I noticed that I definitely pulled out or my wife had pulled out. Um, so, uh, last note, as we're coming toward five minutes here in this video, uh, at Cheltenham Environmental Advisory Council, we are looking at some of the ordinances that talk about growth and overgrowth and nuisance of lawns and things like that. Um, we're hopeful that we can have those looked at or amended, as well as make some recommendations and some tips. Uh, guidelines, etc., for folks who are considering, you know, doing something like this. As I mentioned before, uh, 
you know, going into next season, I may choose to do this on more of my lawn. It depends uh, how much my kids want the space or I want the space for whatever activities and things that we do. Last note as I finish up here, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's definitely a fair amount of noise coming from this spot in particular. Uh, and by noise, I mean crickets and critters and squeaks and things. I'll kind of be silent here in a sec. Um, but, uh, you know, I think that's a good thing. Actually, I know that's a good thing. So have a listen and uh, we'll do another video in a couple days.